Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Sunday, uh, <laughs> the 7th or the 6th? I can't remember. July, or not July, August the 7th, I think. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is episode, No Catchy Name Crochet Talk number 3. So I got a couple of finished objects to share with you guys. No active whips that I can show because they're, um, well, they're my Halloween blanket. Some of the other ones are for other videos that's coming out soon, and one of them is a collaboration. <laughs> and then I'm also going to announce the Christmas in July giveaway winners, all four of them. So, but first I'm going to hop into my finished objects. <laughs> so, my first finished object was my last Christmas in July ornament for the collab I was doing with Kim the Crafty Elmad and Terry from Your Enjoy Podcast. So, I made cute little silver bells Christmas ornament, and I put jingle bells in it. <laughs> and uh, it comes with the bow pattern as well. And it was a video tutorial by Amigurumi underscore Joys on YouTube. So I'll link that video down below. It was really easy. I just used a little bit of, um, these are both, uh, big twists. <laughs> I'm not sure what the colors are, but they're two big twist yarns. And, uh, I believe I used an e-hook, which is a three point something. <laughs> 3.0, I think, millimeter. I think that's what it is, but it's been uh, like a week or so, so I can't remember <laughs> exactly. But there that is. I think that's so cute. And then I finished my little ghost emigrumi that I was working on. This is a paid for pattern by Michelle Estrada, and she has a YouTube channel called Pixie Marie Crates. And uh, I thought this was sold individually, but it's not. It's sold in a um, only the set of her other Halloween projects patterns. <laughs> and uh, so I'll link that below. I think it's twelve dollars for the whole set, but you get like six patterns, I think. But this pattern in it is called the Happy Ghost. And this time I made it smaller. I have a white one that I'll put out when I pull out the rest of my decorations for Halloween. They're slowly trickling out. But um, it was bigger. I made it with an H hook. This one I used a G hook, a four millimeter one. And I used worst of weight yarn. This is Glow Worm by Red Heart. So it's, it's a lot smaller. And then I did use the felt eyes that my sister made and a felt mouth that she also made. I think it's just so cute. It's been living up on our little mantelpiece, and uh, I just think it's so cute. <laughs> uh, I like green for ghosts as well as white, uh, just because it kind of reminds me of Ghostbusters and stuff. But I think purple would be cute too as a ghost color. But I just think it's so cute. <laughs> I love those big eyes. That's the last set of those eyes like that that my sister gave me. I'm going to have to get her to make me some more of those. <laughs> and I used the little like cat or bat mouth. I thought it would be cute. <laughs> but it's so cute. So I did use a G-hook for this, a 4mm, and this is paid for a pattern, like I said. But I will link the bundle down below so you can check it out if you want. I made a few of the patterns from that bundle, so I need to make the rest of them. But I think it's just so cute. I love this little ghost. <laughs> and then my last finished object this week, uh, you would have seen it as well if you watch my, if you've been watching my Halloween videos. This is my uh, spiderweb shawl. It's called the Spooky Spiderweb Shawl by Little Bit of Foolishness, and it's a free pattern. And it is finished. I just, I still haven't woven in the ends. There's two ends I gotta weave in. But it is all done. And it's pretty big. I showed it in the Halloween video. It's kind of tangled up right there. Let me untangle it. There we go. But it is a big shawl. So you can wear it as a shawl. You just have to kind of adjust it a little bit. Like that. Or uh, in the pictures, everybody else wears them. Is wearing it kind of like this. And then you can pin it over here to, uh, you know, look Halloween. -y. That's probably how I'll wear it uh, this year to go into trunk or treats and things. But I really like it. It was a super easy pattern. There's probably a bunch of mistakes in it because <laughs> there's a lot of chains and a lot of um, altered stitches. Like it starts with triple crochets and then it goes up to like double triples, triple triples, quadruple triples. So I'm sure I messed a few of those up along the way. But this is a forgiving pattern. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you don't have the chain count exactly right. Or if you do the wrong triple, <laughs> it's pretty forgiving because it's no one's gonna notice unless they're like really paying way too much attention. I thought it'd also be cute to wear if you had a costume as like a veil, you know, like a spooky Halloween veil because <laughs> uh, it looks like spiderweb, which is cool. So, anyways, so that's all my finished objects this week. I do actually have another finished object, but it's for a collaboration video that I'm doing with Michelle Estrada, who designed this. We are doing a collaboration all month of August. There's going to be four videos coming out and they're national holiday crochet projects. So it's kind of like doing what I do with the national holidays where I just make cute things to go along with the holidays. And we're both making a pattern, but we're not telling each other what we're making. So it's going to be a surprise. And I think it's just going to be so funny if we accidentally make the same pattern. <laughs> um, I don't know if she's maybe going to design her own patterns or if she's just going to pull them 
from some she already has or she's gonna buy some or whatever my first one uh the first one be coming out on the 10th which is next this coming thursday um my first one is done i just have to put the mouth on it <laughs> it's amber groomy um and you know, i'm excited it's so cute <laughs> but i'll share that guy with you guys on thursday the 10th and then you can also hop over to her channel subscribe if you're not because she's amazing she has the cutest designs and she makes the cutest things um and see what she's making too <laughs> but uh so only my only whips a lot of them are hibernating whips i need to pull out my sweater back here and work on it because that video is coming out on the 12th so i need to do a little bit of work on it before i uh, share it with you guys i've been wanting to work on it more often but it's harder because i got three open skeins with it and it's just hard to do with the baby but and then the other one is my halloween blanket so it is growing i just added some more to it today and actually today i started a different stitch so I started it originally with double crochet and then recently I switched to half double crochet and then today I put in some triples <laughs> but uh, so here it is just kind of an overview it's getting bigger and then today let me find it I added some of my glowworm green because I well I did some of it in half double crochets because I was trying to get to the end of the row and then I did a little bit of triple crochets in it and then I switched to this bright yellow and I did some triple crochets in it I think I'm just going to keep doing that. I'm just going to randomly do um, different stitches just to help it grow a little bit or just whatever I'm feeling. But um, and it's going to be like bigger hunks of color, I think. So it's going to look it's gonna look nice. So I am working on this, trying to every single day for my hashtag 100 days of Halloween. And I'm trying to put those videos every day, but with life and stuff, I, I skip some. I will be putting one out later today, though. So if you're looking for that, <laughs> it'll be out later today. And uh, yeah, so I do got some ends I got to trim. They're already like tied in i just need to uh trim them off that's getting pretty big i showed it in my halloween video but not on here i don't i don't remember <laughs> so it's getting quite big but i want it to be a little bit bigger <laughs> so it is square roughly it's kind of a rippled <laughs> square but um i like it i like it a lot i'm using a eight or a uh, no i'm not <laughs> an eye hook a 5.5 although i have used an h by accident and i've also used a j by accident <laughs> but it's mostly made with an eye hook. <laughs> so that's all I've been crocheting on. I'm gonna eat this onto my couch because <laughs> it's kind of heavy and I don't wanna sit on the ground. But uh, that's all I've been working on. So I do, I am gonna add some spiders, I think, to my shawl. And I got weaving those two ends, I need to do that. And work on my blanket some more. I got some ideas for those videos for me and Michelle, plus some other videos coming up, so. Different things will be trickling in, but that's everything for now. <laughs> it's kind of, I also been doing some paper crafting. That's why this is up here. I stand up right there and do it so that June can't reach it, like my hot glue gun and stuff. Um, so I've been doing that, but yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so I'm going to get the names for the giveaway winners and I'm going to put them in right now because I want to get those mailed up to you guys. So hold on a second. Let me grab the names. All right. I got the names. I, I did these, uh, I added all the Facebook ones and the email submissions all together and I did a random number generator for the two different collabs. So first I'll announce the winners for the Deck the Halls collab that I did with Terry on her Joy podcast and Kim the Crafty Nomad. So for those two winners, and I'll pop up the specific item that you, that was the one that popped up when I did the random number thing. <laughs> Anyways, and I'm sorry if I say your names wrong, is Maureen Reedy, or Reddy, I'm not sure how you say that. So you won the Deck the Halls one which is the, the Christmas ornaments. <laughs> and then the second winner for the Deck the Halls is Liliana Corbin, I think is how you say it. Sorry again if I say your name's wrong. So congratulations to you two. Please uh, contact me through my email, which is always in the description box, and we'll talk and get your bag out to you. It is a Notions pouch with some stickers in it and some stitch markers. And uh, the same thing goes for these next people. This was for the Christmas Extravaganza uh, collaboration that I was doing with Can K Crochet. And the two winners for it was Nancy, oh uh, gosh, I'm gonna say this wrong, Tipovic, <laughs> sorry. Uh, and it's funny that Nancy won because she made the peppermint. And then the second winner was a peppermint person too. <laughs> and this was for the gift ideas, by the way. And the second person was Angela Maneri. I'm hoping I said you guys' names wrong, but I'm sorry if I didn't. So I thought that was funny that they're both of the random ones I put that I randomly, you know, did the generator were both peppermints. <laughs> But so anyways, you four are the winners. So contact me through email and uh, I'll give you a week to contact me. And if not, I, I will redraw new winners. 
Um, so yeah, so contact me and we'll get your Notions pouch out to you with the stickers and stitch markers. So congratulations and I'm looking forward to that. So the next giveaway that I'm doing is my happy Malloween Mal that's going on on my Facebook group. But you can also email um, if you want to, if you don't do Facebook. So it's any Halloween related or fall related things. So you can make pumpkins and stuff too. Uh, between August the 1st and September the 30th. Uh, and then I'll be drawing two winners from that to win either a Notions pouch with stickers and stitch markers or maybe a project bag. I'm not sure. I haven't decided. <laughs> I got a, um, a little over a month to deal with that. But uh, so if you want to enter that, go ahead and check that out on the Facebook group or you can send me your submissions via email. Now I think that is everything that I want to talk about today. It's kind of a shorter video, but it's just because I didn't do a little crocheting this week. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Like this video if you liked it. Share it if you think someone else will like it. Subscribe if you're not and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.